CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. People in the neighborhood in Campbell River are making some noise, fed up with all the banging and the clanging and the roar coming from next door. We first listened into their complaints about a pool stripping yard earlier this year. You might remember. Neighbors say it's no better now. In fact, they say it's worse, and they wanted the city to do something about it. There's been no action, so now they feel they have no choice but to deal with it themselves. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. There was, there was no consultation or anything like that. They say they simply can't take it anymore. It's like somebody's taking your brain or your head and just going like this because you just can't take the noise anymore and you, don't, you really don't realize how it gets to you. People living next to this pole yard along the Duncan Bay, Maine and Campbell River have been complaining for several months about the noise and the dust and overloaded logging trucks in their neighborhood. They petitioned City Hall and have gone to the regional district but haven't gotten the situation resolved. So today they're taking matters into their own hands, shutting down the yard by blocking its gates. We have begged and pleaded for help, but nobody wants to stand up and help us. They've been here since 6.30 this morning, displaying their signs and relaying their concerns. When yard employees show up for work, there's no confrontation, but the employees simply drive away to figure out what to do next. I think this is all here done by sloppy work at City Hall and not carrying out the proper protocol. The group made up mainly of seniors know RCMP at some point will appear on the scene and they're right. People have the opportunity to to protest uh, lawfully and legally as long as they're doing it in a safe manner and not uh, violating any laws so we're just asking you know that they uh, move off to a safe place and kind of allow business to, to continue as normally until, you know, there can be some sort of resolution or a decision made that is more clear-cut. we talk in private without all the media. No, I'll, I'll, I'll really to but the homeowners, frustrated with what they say is inaction by the city, plead their case to officers. They want to know why police are stopping them when the operation has been breaking noise and nuisance bylaws. Laws aren't being upheld by the city. We've approached the provincial government. Um, you know, we're trying to be patient and wait, but every day that this is running, and it's going on five months now, in violation of a city nuisance bylaw, um, and nobody seems to be listening to us. The city is, is, is trying to balance the interests of the business operation and the interests of the community uh, to find a solution that works for everybody uh, and is, is working strenuously to uh, facilitate that end. Heeding the RCMP's warnings, the protesters remove themselves and the stripping yard gets back into operation. The annoyed neighbors are contemplating their next move. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Campbell River.